What's going on guys, gals, whoever the fuck bothers to watch these videos. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, today, I guess, I just want to talk about cleaning my fucking desk. Jesus Christ, what am I, an animal? Fuck. Anyways, challenges in life. This will be something that's kind of directed towards new people who are thinking about joining the military and... Uh, I guess veterans too. Some of the challenges you face obviously going in to the military are going into the unknown. Uh, going into something that you have never experienced before in your life. It's, uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be weird. You might think you're ready for it, but there will be times when you're doing it. Especially mainly in basic training. When you're like, what the fuck? And I know I've said that before. What the fuck? Did I sign myself up for? What am I doing? Um, these things pay off in the end, especially in life when you get out. Uh, you're going to learn a lot of good shit. You're going to learn about leadership. You're going to learn about integrity, doing the right thing when nobody's looking. Basically, just being a better human being overall. Um, and then you get the opportunity to become a fucking quote-unquote baby killer in the eyes of the fucking ignorant which is fun because you come across them every now and then most people won't say shit to your face ever because they're fucking pussies but on the internet they will that's just the way it is man but the leadership aspect uh you're gonna learn things about yourself you didn't know you were capable of you're gonna learn how to lead men and basically just adapt and overcome any situation that you come across. Like, whatever the situation, they're just challenges that you can overcome. They're not, not something that's going to stop you, per se. Um, I know me personally, and this is directed towards the veterans, I guess, uh, when I got out, there was like an emptiness and in the way it worked for our, uh, company, our battalion as a whole, we all got fucking separated three sheets of the wind. Everybody went everywhere after we got back from deployment and it was tough cause you're kind of like fuck and all your buddies are gone and you'll find yourself as the years go on. You'll make friends with people at jobs that you work. And it's cool to a degree, but it's never necessarily the same. Um, some people, veterans, are fortunate enough to live close to guys that they served with. And they can interact with each other, and that's good. Because our goofy asses need to reminisce about the good old days, if you will. But it's tough. Like, there was a point where I'm like, fuck. I talked to my wife, and I'm like... I'm thinking about go, going back in the military. What do you think? She's like, yeah, I'm down. You know, we'll be together, so whatever. And they weren't taking prior service for the infantry at the time. Uh, so that didn't work out. And other things uh, transpired and jobs, opportunities came about. And here I am today. But I know you kind of like get out and you look at society and you like get back into the civilian world and it's, oh, it's fucking it's weird people don't have the same mentality the get shit done mentality there's a lot of laziness and there's a lot of fucking talking back <laughs> talking back to bosses supervisors foremen whatever fucking people say whatever the fuck they want to say to their bosses they don't care and bosses don't really do anything about it. It's kind of fucking weird. Uh, rude, disrespectful type shit. But, uh, yeah, I guess you miss. People, like, uh, always give veterans who get back in a hard time. They're like, oh, you're fucking brainwashed. Can't do anything else but be in the military. But that's not really the case. You miss being around your, you know, pardon me for being cheesy, but your fucking brother's that you spend every day with and you can talk shit with endlessly. You can say the most fucked up shit to each other and nobody takes offense because you know 
when shit gets real, you got each other's backs, plain and simple, no matter what the situation is. Uh, so, I guess this video is just fucking all over the place, but where I'm going with it is that not only when you join are you getting that leadership, you're learning the leadership abilities, you're learning uh, how to lead people, how to be a better person, how to fucking get shit done, basically. You're also just creating friends that you're going to have for life. And whenever you come across them, no matter how many years after the fact it is, it's like, fuck, you're right back to where you were and just shooting the shit. And it's like nothing ever changed. So you're gaining a fucking really cool bond with people. And you do share it with basically everybody who served. Like you get you get props from the old timers who served in World War II. Not that they're... I mean, our numbers are getting a lot lower nowadays of them. But everybody else since then who has served, you, you can just sit and shoot the shit with them. And you can hear their stories, talk to them, ask them stories, and they will actually tell you. I know my grandfather didn't, didn't tell me anything about his time in uh, World War II until like the fucking day before I was leaving to go to basic training and then we were just sitting for like two hours shooting the shit and he was telling me stories and stuff and obviously it's been like that since then but it's cool you become part of a kind of like unspoken team if you will forever and that's something they can't take away with you you know how they you'll hear the marines say it's you're once a Marine, always a Marine. Like when you get out, no matter what, you're still a Marine. Uh, in the same way it is with everybody else who serves in all different branches. Um, it's good shit. So uh, if you're having any doubts about joining, like for whatever reason, just shoot me a question. I'll help you out and answer it. Um, Veterans, too, if you're fucking stumbling upon this video and you're just feeling fucking shitty or fucking lonely or bored and you want to fucking talk, shoot me a message. I am not hard to find because I've found in my time being out that it's you need people to talk to, like fellow fellow veterans to talk to. It's good to talk to regular you know, civilians and shit, too, and loved ones, but... When you sit down with your old uh, army buddies, in my case, you just start fucking going back. Hey, you remember that one time? All that bullshit, and it's great. So, uh, yeah. You new guys, you can do it. You can do anything. Believe me, it doesn't matter how much you think you're incapable of doing it. You can push through it, and you can do it. Uh, veterans, you all know that. You've done it. You've been there. But you're not alone. I'm being cheesy. You're not alone. So uh, just shit, guys. Share some love. Let's shoot the shit. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.